Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Doom Remake series and in this video we are gonna load some more of our map data. So first of all I'm gonna open up wad.h, wad.c and map.h and uh, actually we need to do nothing in wad.h. In map.h I'm gonna add a new type here for loading line dev and we'll get to the details of line dev in a second. First of all we are gonna only add two uh, you know members in this the start index and the end index and this will represent like the starting and ending point of the line dev the actual vertex where the line dev starts and the vertex where the line dev ends. Now in here we are gonna go ahead and just add another function for reading line dev and and when we are calling this we are gonna uh, read the line depth as well like we are reading our vertices and uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty similar and now we can go down here and we are gonna go ahead and uh, basically call read line depth like that and uh, now we actually need to create some line depth data inside of our map structure I'm gonna add a number of line depths along with an array of the actual line depth and now we can get started with reading the line depth for math so as you can see each line def is 14 bytes in size it consists of the start and end vertex and it also consists of some flags and special types and we are going to add those as well here and uh, then we can move on to uh, actually loading this from our uh, wad file so in order to read the line def i'm going to just go ahead and copy all of the vertex data and uh, as i said before we are going to only care about the start and end index of the vertices for now and we'll care about the rest of the stuff you know uh, later when we actually need it so each line def is 14 bytes long so we'll change the num side def to num uh, num vertices to num line def and map line def here as well and then we'll change this as well and uh, we'll also change our sign def, uh, si uh, size of calculation to use line def and we're going to change the commit as well so it's going to be 14 bytes now and and we are going to remove the minimum and maximum calculation codes and in here we are going to use uh, set the map line depth of course and we are going to set the start vertex and the end uh, vertex index so we are going to start the send uh, and we are going to increment our i by 14 and we don't need to make this signed it is fine and unsigned because that's how most modern source posts do it so now we can use this data to build something interesting on our screen Okay, now in order to visualize our line depth, I'm gonna just go here and you can see we are drawing all of the points in yellow here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, now we are gonna draw the line depth as well. So we are gonna go over each line depth and uh, for each of the iteration, we are gonna just first of all get store our current line depth in a pointer so that we can access it easily. And uh, then we are gonna draw a line from the start index. We are gonna use map to vertices here, but for the index, we'll use the line depth start index and the line depth end index. And we are just gonna draw those lines and we're gonna draw it with thickness of 1 and a color of white. Now if I were to actually run this you'd see that it completely is wrong and does not look like what it's supposed to look like. Uh, but the main reason behind that is because I kindly uh, kind of in the last video we switched the we need to switch the order I had the line of and side of index wrong and now you can see that we get a visual representation of even m1. The player goes from here to here and everything seems to work. And if I were to go ahead and for example just uh, uh, change this to even m2 you'd see that that gets reproduced correctly as well which means that our basic line of loading code and everything is now working perfectly now we can make our visualization even more fun by adding some flags to this and we can also add a special type but we are not adding any functionality yet so let's just have the flags here and uh, the flags we can read them pretty similarly they are just after the ending index and we can read them at offset 4 and uh, inside of this I'm gonna just define a couple of flags here well we only need the one flag right now which is the whether this is two-sided or not it can be represented by this hexadecimal 4 value and if it's two-sided it means that we can it's not like a solid wall if it's not two-sided it means it's a solid wall that's not always the case but for doom 1 we can assume that so in here we are going to set first of all set a variable called color to the default white color and uh, we don't need this right now here and if the uh, line def is two-sided it means it's not a solid wall then we are going to go ahead and uh, change the color to a grayish color and so that it uh, visualizes this stuff better so we're going to just change it to a slight gray kind of color and the alpha is gonna remain one though and uh, I mean now we actually need to specify the type here and if I run this uh, actually if I can type make here you can see that uh, uh, we get all of the solid walls are now rendered in white while the walls which are not solid for example have windows or are like a little higher floor or lower those line depths are rendered in gray color which means that our line depth reading is up to this point working almost perfectly Anyways guys I'm gonna end the video here and I know this was a kind of short one but we got the line of uh, loading working perfectly and that means that in the next video we can finally begin to do some 3D stuff so in the next video we'll kind of set up our environment and our uh, everything input and stuff for 3D and then we can go on to generating a mesh out of these line depths so that we can visualize our map in fully 3D space. So that's going to be pretty awesome I'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and bye.